A couple of weeks back, I put up a few posts around the internet asking for your suggestions on paint stripper ideas. And oh boy, did you not disappoint. So this is the great paint strip off of 2018, and that's coming right up. Welcome back, and it is great to have you here. And look, if this is your first time here, here's what's up. If you want to improve your wargaming, make your tabletop battles more epic, and give your wargaming budget more power, then be sure to smash the subscribe button below and ding the bell. That way, you won't miss anything. Now, given that it's the new year, I figured to start off the new year with something a little bit interesting. So, I have a variety of different suggestions for Paint Stripper here, and we're going to see which one is the best. Okay, so I have my five paint stripping options right here, and these are the most interesting slash ones that I think might actually work. So, we've got those. We also have some stuff with paint on it with lovely paint jobs that we definitely don't want to ruin. Uh, so we're going to do just that. We're going to ruin it. Uh, we have two brushes, and we have a reason for that. This one's going to be for these three, this one's for these two. And the reason I'm using a separate brush over here is because this one's gross, and this one will probably kill you. And I have a bucket of water down there for washing the brushes between, and I also have some pliers for these two for the reasons I already mentioned. So, the paint strippers that I have here are white vinegar, I have some methylated spirits, also known as white spirits in some parts of the world. I have some simple green right here. This is a rather interesting fluid that has already been through a human, so it'll be interesting to see how that goes. And this is used brake fluid. Now, before we get started, I have no idea how well the brake fluid is going to work. I'm half expecting it to just melt the plastic outright. Uh, but even if it does work, I do not recommend using it because this stuff, it's absolutely horrible. It, it, I mean, I don't want to touch it. it. It scares me. I've gotten it on my skin before and it is not particularly pleasant. So that's why I've got the pliers because I do not want to touch either of these two. I don't actually know which one was. This one's going to kill me. This one's just kind of gross. So let's start with the white vinegar, I think. So... That's not even going to fit in there, is it? This one will probably fit in there better. There. So that's now dipped in. That's dipped in. That's dipped in. And I'm going to leave those to soak for 10 minutes because all of them need to soak for a little bit to work well. These two could be quite interesting. So I'm just going to put those aside. Okay, so starting with the one that probably scares me a little bit less, let's start with the uh, people juice. So I'm just going to get this, and I'm pretty sure those aren't actually meant to be on there. Whoever cut this out and assembled it did a good job, which is probably suiting given what we're about to dip it into. So we're just going to dip that in there, and I'm just going to hold it for a couple of minutes. Okay, so it's been 10 minutes that that's been sitting in there, and we're going to get our brush, and we're going to dip that into the people stuff, and we're going to start, I'm going to actually hold that a bit tighter, we're going to start scrubbing it. Oh, okay, that's unexpected. It's very unexpected. That appears to actually be taking the paint off. The hell is not supposed to happen? Okay, well, it turns out that um, this stuff that's already been through a human um it takes paint off so that's interesting um yeah that's very surprising what it's not supposed to do that well that took the paint off so i suppose if you are on a budget um human stuff is usable for stripping paint I mean, it's taken it off. There's still a bit of silver up there. Huh. Well, what do you know? It will strip paint off. Okay, and now, 
we're going to do everybody's favorite and no one's favorite. I don't even remember who suggested this and I hate you for suggesting it. I'm kidding, I don't hate anyone. Except for... Okay, yeah, let's, let's not go there. Okay, so let's pick up... Pick it up here. And let us submerge it in the brake fluid and see what happens. I should probably be wearing gloves for this because brake fluid is particularly nasty, but as you can tell, I have no regard for safety, so don't be like that. Okay, so that's been submerged in the brake fluid for two minutes. Now, let's just put the brush across it very gently because I don't want to splash this everywhere. And so far, the paint is not coming off. So Lou, let's put that down for another couple of minutes and then see what happens from there. Okay, so it's been submerged for five minutes now, so let's give that a scrub and see how that goes. I mean, it does say on the bottle of the brake fluid that if you spill it on your paint, don't wipe it off because it'll take your paint off with it. So I see no reason it shouldn't work on this, but it doesn't appear to be working at this point in time. And I really don't like that these bristles keep flicking it towards my face. Nope, still absolutely nothing coming off. Looks like the human juice actually works better than the brake fluid. Although granted, part of the problem could be that it's used brake fluid, but I don't imagine that should change the properties that much. Maybe if I'd used new brake fluid, it wouldn't have had, it would have worked better. Yeah, we'll have to try that another time. Also, again, don't use brake fluid. Even if this actually does end up working, which I'm skeptical that it's going to, at this point, um, yeah, this this stuff is really bad, okay, and it's not particularly pleasant if you get it on your skin or touch it or look at it or breathe near it, which I'm doing a lot of those things right now. Okay, so we're at seven and a half minutes now. Well, let's do another test to see how it's going. On that blue bit, that'll be the most obvious. Absolute. Oh, yeah, it's starting to take it back a little bit. The tiniest of the little bits. Okay, so it's been submerged for 10 minutes now and not a lot appears to be happening. So let's give it a quick scrub. I mean, it is slowly starting to take it off, but it's not doing a fantastic job at it to be perfectly blunt. I mean, the human stuff worked a lot better. Okay, well, you know what, while we do the other ones, let's just let that, leave that in there to soak and see what happens, because I am kind of disappointed by this. I was expecting to see a melted orc arm, and I'm not seeing that, so... Okay, so, while that sits in there doing its thing, let's put that off to the side, and let's bring in our other three test subjects. So, starting with... Well, let's start with the one that I know works because I used to strip a Dreadnought just before New Year's. Or was it just before Christmas? One of them. So we're just going to get those out of the way. So we're going to bring in our brush that is not gross or slash deadly. And we are going to pull it out. It's been soaking for about 15 or so minutes now. And you just scrub at it. And it's foaming up for some reason. 
There we go. And it just takes the paint straight off. This is the methylated spirits or white spirits. As you can see, it's filthy because I used this for stripping paint before Christmas. Or was it New Year's? I don't remember. But as you can see, bit of scrubbing and it just comes straight off. Metho works really well. Some of the little edges and details, it takes a little bit more to get into. And when you are doing it though, you do need to wet your brush occasionally to make sure that it all stays nice and moist because as soon as the paint dry, as soon as the metho dries off the paint, uh, the paint sticks back to whatever it was stuck to. So yeah, metho, that works fairly well. So we now know metho is a winner and that worked fairly effortlessly. Next, I think we'll try the one that I am, well, I haven't tried it before, but I got some simple green, and this has been soaking for a little bit now. So let's try scrubbing it and see if it comes off. Has that actually taken it off by itself? Or was there a scratch there? I'll tell you what, this is a fair bit more effort than the metho. Although I might not have had it soaking for long enough. But it clearly has not done anything to the plastic, which is good. Okay, so we're gonna let that soak for a little bit longer. Because it doesn't seem to be working yet. So. This is the white vinegar, which is almost as cheap as metho. Actually, no, it's cheaper than metho. So let's try scrubbing this down and see how it goes. I'm pretty sure the thinking behind the white vinegar is it's an acid, so it should eat away at it. We will see. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Let's put that back in there, and I think I'm going to top that glass up a little bit. There we go, just so we have a bit more to work with. Okay, so, at this point, we know that the human juice worked rather well. I mean, that's the strip side, not that you can see it real well, because the light's really bright. That's the strip side, that's the non-strip side, and yeah. And yes, I washed this before picking it up. And the metho worked really well. I mean, it just took it straight off really well. Uh, does need a bit of work in some of the recesses to get in there to remove it with the brush. But that can be achieved fairly easily with a little bit of work. And it comes off really nicely. If you have a rotary tool or a Dremel or something like that, and you have a nylon brush attachment for it, that will speed this method up a lot. Okay, so the simple green has had another 10 minutes to soak. So let's give it another quick scrub and see how it goes. And well, it's definitely taking it off at the edges, but that could just be from how hard I'm scrubbing. On the actual faces of it, the paint does not seem to be coming off very easily. Okay, so here is our brake fluid, and it turns out plastic floats in brake fluid. So now I'm going to try to pull it out, and I'm hoping that it will just be all squishy. Nope, it's still hard. So we get the brush for the brake fluid, and we drop it. But it's a good thing it floats. Ah, oh crap, I dropped it on my desk. Now I've got to burn the desk. Well, I mean, it is taking it off, but not really. Okie dokie, so, here we are at the half hour mark. So, at this point, our brake fluid has, it looks like it's taken a bit of the paint off, 
but scrubbing doesn't do anything to speed that along. So I'm going to leave that to soak for a bit more. Our human powered paint stripper that came out of a person, which is handy because it means it's always on tap, um, did an excellent job of stripping off the paint off of this power pole thing. Um, the simple green, it looks like it's taking the paint off of the edges. The metho just took it right off. It worked really, really nicely. It does, however, dry your skin out quite a lot. And our vinegar, I mean, it's taken a bit off of some of the edges, but the simple green seemed to work a bit better. So we're gonna leave that to soak. And when we come back, we will see how they're going. So I'm going to now leave them for an entire hour because I'm fairly confident that nothing's gonna get melted. So leaving them for an hour should be fine. But so far it looks like the fastest way is the metho and the human juice. Okay, so here we are an hour later and let's have a look at how it's going. So I think we'll start over here with the white vinegar. And it doesn't seem to be coming off. So I'd say where it came off at the edges was just from scrubbing more than anything probably would have gotten a similar effect with water. Uh, let's check the simple green and see how that went. Huh. I wonder if that's coming off from the chemicals or something else. I mean, there is little particles at the bottom of the cup now, so maybe. Hmm. But scrubbing it doesn't seem to be doing very much, so I guess we'll put that back in there. And now for the fun bit, let's see if the brake fluid has melted this orky arm thing. Or if it's done anything. It's gross. Well, it's taking the top coat off fairly effortlessly. And I'm not having to scrub very hard at all with this. Well, there you go, it took the paint off. I reckon if I let it soak for a fair bit longer, it would get it back to bare plastic before very long, very easily. Okay, so that's three out of five finished. So now that it's pretty clear that that's not doing very much, it might be doing something, and that appears to be doing, it might be doing something, I don't know. Um, so now I'm going to leave these two overnight because I'm fairly satisfied it's not going to melt the plastic. Although it's midday at the moment, so I might check again at like 5 o'clock this afternoon. But I'm going to let them soak for... Yeah, we'll do that. We'll let them soak for another 5 hours. I've already had, what, an hour and a half or 2 hours maybe? But we'll let those soak for 5 hours and see how they go then. If it's not coming off after six and a half, seven hours of soaking, it's not going to come off, <laughs> I suppose. So I'll check back with you in a whole bunch of hours from now. Okay, so let's do our final check to see how these come up and see if we can crown a winner. So starting with the vinegar, let's see if it's soaked for long enough to start pulling paint off. Yeah, no, there's, there's nothing coming off that at all. You have a look, I mean, it's still silver and brown. So, vinegar has not worked at all. Let's see if the simple green has worked anymore. Yeah, it has kind of worked. There was more paint up there before scrubbing, but it's a fair bit of effort has to go and it has to soak for a long time. Okay, so there we go, and the results are in, and if you've been paying attention, you'll probably know which one is the winner, but it's the Metho! The methylated spirits or white spirit seems to have worked the best, I mean, 10 minutes soaking, and it just scrubbed right off rather nicely. The close second to that would have to be the human juice that already went through a person 
because it also managed to scrub it off after a relatively short amount of time in the yellow stuff. Although, I do not recommend using that because it is gross. And, ooh, wow, yep, that smells really bad. Don't, don't, I use the metho. But if you are stuck in the wilderness somewhere and you absolutely have to strip some paint off something, it will work. Although I don't know why you would be stripping paint off of miniatures in the middle of nowhere. A close third was the brake fluid. It did take the paint off with... I don't even think the scrubbing really took any paint off. It was all the brake fluid doing it really. But like I said at the beginning, brake fluid, bad stuff. If you get in your eyes, you will go blind. It is absolutely horrid, so I am disqualifying it from the competition just because of how nasty that stuff is. In, well, I suppose third place because what was going to get third got disqualified is the simple green. It took a long time to soak. I mean, that soaked for six hours and didn't even make getting it all off semi-easy. I mean, there's yeah, still silver there, it, it just, it hasn't worked really well. So that came in fourth, and in last place because it's done nothing. I mean, it's soaked in the vinegar and nothing spectacular really happened. So the vinegar was kinda disappointing, nothing really happened. So I guess the moral of the story is, if you're after something for stripping paint off miniatures without doing anything too horrible to them, because none of these have done anything horrible, uh, Metho, Metho for the win. It works quite nicely, and it doesn't do horrid things to the plastic. So there you go, and aren't those results a little bit surprising? I gotta be frank, I am a little surprised, particularly with the yellow human juice. I was not expecting it to do that well, at all and it turns out that in a pinch that stuff will do perfectly fine for stripping paint now the your results if you were silly enough to try that would probably vary because the contents of various human waste fluids are largely determined by what you eat and there's a good chance that you eat different stuff to me so it might not work for you but it was a rather surprising result of course, and surprise, surprise, the Metho, which is a great solvent, is the winner. It was able to loosen up that paint by far the quickest, and it worked really, really well. I'm really happy with it, and will keep using Metho for stripping minis. I'm honestly surprised that the Simple Green took as long as it did to do whatever it did, and I think that if you left it overnight, it probably would work reasonably well. Then of course, the white vinegar did absolutely nothing, don't even bother trying, it, it did nothing. It was soaking for 8 hours and nothing at all happened. And of course, it should go without saying, but brake fluid, while it does appear to strip the paint off with minimal effort, if you were to leave it in there too long, there is a good chance it would probably melt the plastic, so I don't recommend it. On top of that, there's the safety issues concerned with using brake fluid in this way. It will cause you to go blind if it gets in your eyes, so don't. So let us know in the comment section below what you think of these results. Are you surprised by these results, or are they simply confirming what you already knew? And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up so we know that you like it so we can keep making stuff that you like. And if you have any suggestions for anything wargaming related you'd like us to cover, chuck it in the comment section below so that we can get onto it. And as always, if you want to improve your wargaming, make your tabletop battles more epic, and give your wargaming budget more power, then be sure to smash the crosshair and ding the bell. You'll subscribe and I'll be able to share with you more battle reports, terrain tutorials, and strategies to make your wargaming experience more epic. And I'll see you next time.